The Win Pop-Up Control Container is one of those controls that exists in the NetAdvantage Windows Forms toolbox that is very valuable, yet may not be used by everyone out there. So let's check out one particular use case of how we can leverage this component. So the purpose of the component is to essentially allow you to take any control that you want and show it in a pop-up as you mouse over something, as you click on something. It doesn't matter. The action can be chosen by whatever you want, whatever is most appropriate for your application. In this case, what I want to do is I want to handle the grid's cell click event. And whenever I click on a cell, I want to show a chart that has data relevant to each row. So let's start by clicking on the grid's event handlers here. And let's find the cell click event or the click cell event, rather. Let's just add that event handler for now. Now I'm going to go into my Visual Studio Toolbox, and again, you can use any control that you want to pop up in the pop-up control container. So in this case, I'll just grab the Infragistics chart control, which is right here. I'll drop it onto the form. Now keep in mind that whatever, whatever control that you place on the form, just put it out of the way because it's not going to be visible when this is running. So put it like on the side, shrink it down, or you know, do something with it. But whatever, whatever size and condition it's in, that when it's launched, when you call the show method of the pop-up control container component, that's what it will look like. So let's just, I'm going to just add some code here. What I do is I'll just fill up the chart with some sample data that's provided by one of the sample data namespaces. And call the all positive method of the demo table class. Then we always call data bind on the win chart, even though, yep, it's Windows Forms is what you call in the chart for to render. And I'll just fill this up. Now, so at this point, we're ready to add the pop up control container. So let's scroll down in the toolbox and locate the ultra pop up control container and double click it that will add it to your component area down here in your Windows form. And the first thing that we want to do is associate a control with it. So let's click on this smart tag here and locate the pop-up control property and set it to the ultra chart. Now remember, this could be any other control that you, that you want. You could build a custom control, a user control that contains a bunch of other items on it that you know has methods that accepts arguments and then fetches data and does all sorts of stuff and then you could pop that one up too so now what I'll do is let me just go into the code for this form and this is the grids click cell event which fires whenever you click a cell so I want to explain some things of how you can make this useful although I did go get data for the chart in the beginning in the form load event what you may want to do in a real application is you want to grab the context of the current cell so you want to do something like this. And I'll just write some pseudocode to give you guys ideas on how you can use this in this use case. So you want to get the row and then other cells. And this is how you do it. You could either access by key. And then you get the value of that. So you want to basically do something like this and then let's say if you cast it to an int and then what you want to do also on top of that is let's say you have a data manager something like a you know you have a data manager class that fetches your data for particular you know with particular methods that that filters the data and gets specific data for certain customers or for orders or whatever it is that you're working with and then you'll pass this guy in here. So again, it's just some pseudocode, and then what you could do is assign that to the actual data, to the chart's data source. So you do something along the lines of this. And again, these are classes that don't exist in my sample here, but just to give you some ideas of how this would work in your app. And just comment it out, because it doesn't really exist. But you get the idea, right? So, but the thing that I want to focus on on how to make this pop-up control show up is call the show method on the container component. 
call the show method and let's fire it up and let's see what we get. And by the way, I have some sample data hooked up in a grid and it's just designed to, you know, allow me to click on it and show my chart. And I remember this, every time I click on this cell, I get a pop-up at the location of my mouse point. You also have to click once to get it to go away. Notice how once I associated this chart control with the pop-up control container, the chart automatically disappears at runtime. So that's how you know you did it right. So again, just imagine all the different types of use cases of you clicking on cells of a grid or or any other elements within your application. It could be absolutely anything. It's just most useful whenever you want to do something data-driven where when you click on something you're able to identify the item that was clicked, get data related to that item, and then show a pop-up control of your choice to kind of give your end users a more rich interaction. Just imagine if this is like some kind of inventory system where I click on it, maybe you fire up a chart with the month's worth the, the month's worth of data for the activity of that product. Or if this is like a stock market app, when you click on it, you have some kind of, you know, chart that either shows a history of one, three, five years, or ten years, or maybe the day's activities, you know, in real time if you like. So just to give you some great ideas. So hope you enjoy this control and make sure you look around in your apps for areas where you can leverage this great control. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.